Okay, today we are going to talk about reading comprehension. Okay, so when we say reading comprehension, it's the ability or the capability to understand what we are reading. Okay, let me just write it. Did you understand that? The ability yeah. to understand or the ability to know the meaning the meaning of the story or the passage. All right. So in order for us to understand this story, we have to um, understand what does it says to us or what does the story all about? Okay, we have here a story. We're going to read it and understand it so we can answer the questions later, all right? I can't hear you. Did you understand that, I see and me? Yeah. Okay, we're going to yeah. read the story. Uh, I see, please read until here. Oh, wait, until here. And then the rest of the story, me will read it, okay? Yeah. Okay, let's start. Let's read the story. Can you see it properly? Oh, uh, yeah, I can see it. Okay, that's good. Yes, I can see it. it is, it's big enough for you to see it? Yeah. Okay, that's great. That's enough. Okay, so let's read the story and understand what is it all about, all right? I see, please start. The day start like any, uh, any other days. I woke up at 6.30 and went into the bathroom to take a shower and get ready for school. Are you up yet, Jacob? I heard my mom yell from down, um, downstairs. Yes, I am. Is breakfast ready? I yelled back. Come down when you are ready, she said, and then she laughed. I wondered what was uh, funny, but didn't think about it very much. I finished brushing my teeth and packed my bag for school. Pack my bag for school. I had a presentation in history so I had some extra things to bring. I start walking down the stair. I started. I started walking down the stair to the kitchen when I heard strings ringing noise. 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 Uh, then I decide to decided. jump. Decided. Decided. To jump out, uh, jump down the last five stars, but I didn't stairs. Hop stairs. But I didn't hop quite fast uh, enough. My foot got caught, and I feel fa oh. face first. Fell face first with a loud bang. Jacob, what happened? My mom said as she found me motionless. On the floor, blood some blood. Uh, blood, blood was powering from my nose and my arm uh, was acting. Aching. What? Aching. Aching. I couldn't move it, so my mom helped me up and took me out of uh, out to the car. Okay, thank you, Izzy. It's your turn, Ni. Can you please finish the story? Yeah. Two hours later, I left the hospital. My nose was fine, but there was a cause on my arm. The pain had gone away, but I was very upset that I would have to miss the to miss 
presenting presenting my history project. I had worked for weeks on it and was really looking forward to it. It is okay, honey. My mom said, knowing what was on my mind. I am sure Miss Anderson will let you present your project next week. Besides, I think I have something at home that will make you feel better. Then I remember the nose, the, no, the noise. The night that I had heard this before jumping down the stair, when I got home, there was a new puppy waiting for me in the kitchen. Along with my cold breakfast, I was really hung hungry, so I ate my breakfast. My mom let me share some of it when with my new friend it turned out to be a good day after all okay that's great thank you i see and me okay did you understand the story yeah were you able to understand that as you were reading did you understand Okay, yeah. Okay, you can, you can. Are you coming back? Then I will back, yeah. Okay. Okay, Ni, were, were you able to understand the story? Did you understand? Can mm, I have a few minutes to read the... Okay, wow. I'm, I am going to read aloud and please listen, all right? Yeah. Okay, try to understand, try to, an to, to analyze or to imagine that you are in the story so you can understand it fully, okay? The day started like, an, like other day, like any other day, sorry. I woke up at 6.30 and went into the bathroom to take a shower and get ready for school. Are you up yet, Jacob? I heard my mom yell from downstairs. Yes, I am. Is breakfast ready? I yelled back. Come down when you are ready, she said, and then she left. I wondered what was funny but didn't think about it very much. I finished brushing my teeth and packed my bag for school. I had a presentation in history, so I had some extra things to bring. I started walking down the stairs to the kitchen when I heard a strange winning noise. Then I decided to jump down the last five stairs but I didn't hop quite far enough. My foot got cough and I fell face first with a loud bang. Jacob, what happened? My mom said as she found me motionless on the floor. Blood was pouring from my nose and my arm was aching. I couldn't move it, so my mom helped me up and took me out to the car. Two hours later, I left the hospital. My nose was fine, but there was a cast on my arm. The pain had gone away, but I was very upset that I would have to miss presenting my history project. I had worked for weeks on it and was really looking forward to it. It's okay, honey, my mom said, knowing what was on my mind. I am sure Mr. Anderson will let you present your project next week. Besides, I think I have something at home that will make you feel better. Then I remembered the noise that I, ha I had heard just before jumping down the stairs. 
When I got home, there was a new puppy waiting for me in the kitchen, along with my cold breakfast. I was really hungry, so I ate my breakfast. My mom let me share some of it with my new friend. It turned out to be a good day after all. So that was the story. So did you understand that? Were you able to digest the, the meaning of the story? Um, what is real? Y E double L. While? Okay, let me. Y E double L. This one? Can you see it? No. Uh, what is it? Can you say it again? On the screen. Oh, yeah, shout, shout, shout. Do you know what is shout? No. Okay, let me. Atlena, Atlena, ni. Oh, did you understand what Isaac told you? Shout? Yeah. Okay, yell or shout? The same like shout or shout. Mm. Okay, yell is shout. Okay. Anything more? No. Okay, that's great. Okay, let's try to answer some questions over here to see if we are able to understand the meaning of the story. Can you see it? Question number seven. I see, can you please read? What? Number seven question. Can you please read the question? What would be the best uh, title for this story? Okay, what would be the best title for this story? What do you think? Letter A, a surprise for Jacob. Letter B, Jacob's kind mother. C, broken arms and legs. D, Jacob's missing project. What do you think is the best answer, I see? Uh, a? Okay, it's correct. Letter A, a surprise for Jacob. Why do you think that A is the best answer? Uh, because um, he, why do you think it's the best answer I see? You shop share. Can you share? Again for me. Okay, wait a minute. Sorry about that. There you are. Can you see? Yeah. Okay. Um, because what do you think? Uh, like um, but um, meter uh add additions will let you presents. So uh, he get the presents from uh someone uh, about his project, a puppy. About the present. Oh, all right. All right. The, the best answer for the story is Jacob's uh, surprise for Jacob. It's because the main story or the main, the full topic of the story is about Jacob and his surprise dog, 
he was he he was given the surprise dog or the puppy okay the letter b is uh, jacob's kind mother her mother is kind but it's just a small piece small piece of the story okay letter c broken arms and legs it's also part of the story and jacob's missing project is absolutely not the story the title of the story because it's not in the in the story it's not a missing project so the best answer would be a surprise for jacob okay number eight ni can you please read number is what did jacob not do in the morning before falling what do you think is the best answer take note of the word not Can you read the answers? Yeah. Um, is the breakfast is my maid? Number D. Okay, letter D. Letter D, eat the breakfast his mom made. This is the correct answer. Because Jacob take a shower brush his teeth and pack his bag for school all right that's great me and Izzy. number nine let's hear from Izzy again i see can you read it for me dear um what a uh, body pack did jacob Heard in his fall. Uh, a. All right, it's correct. It's letter A. What's it? What? What's is letter A? Um. That. His arm. He. Yeah. He um. Cannot, like. No, I was asking to for you to read letter A. His arm. Okay, that's great. The correct answer is his arm. But letter B, letter C, and letter D, those are also um, part of the story. He was, his legs hurt, his back and arm, and his nose and teeth are hurt but the best um the body part of of jacob that was really hurt was his arm he was casted all right number 10 knee number 10 in line nine the word warning is closest name what do you think is the um, meaning of yellow. the word winning? D. Letter? D. Letter D. How about you, Iz? What do you think is the word winning? Me. Um, winning is like uh, A. Loud. Okay, the best answer would be crying. C, letter C. Crying. So the other, the synonyms or the other meaning of winning is crying. Okay. Yelling, you know what is yelling? Shouting. Angry. Other word for angry, do you know? Mad. Do you know what is mad? Angry or mad? How about loud? Can be noisy. 
noisy, yelling, and shout. Okay. All right. Those are the synonyms or other words similar to them. Okay. Loud meaning noisy, angry or mad, yelling or shout. Okay, shouting instead of shout. Okay. And then crying or winning. Okay, number 11. Um, I see. Uh, number 11. I don't know. In the line 11, please read number 11. Uh, in the line 11, the word marginalized is called um, closest. Closest, closest in meaning to A, still, B, awake, C, shock. D, terrified. What do you think okay. is the answer? Okay, for us to understand, let's take a look at the story in this part. Let's see. Okay, in this part, let's understand here. Okay, my mom said as she found me motionless on the floor. Motionless, what does it mean? What's your answer, I see? I didn't hear it, sorry. Uh, what was your answer? A. Letter A? Yes, it's correct, it's letter A, steel. Okay, for you to understand what is still, it is, uh, you can also say uh, not moving. Okay, motionless, still, or not moving. Okay. So still, awake, do you know what is awake? Do you know what's the meaning of awake? Uh, if you don't know, just say, I don't know. And if you know it, then say, yes, I know. It's okay to say, I don't know. Do you know what's the meaning of awake? Me and... Izzy, awake. I was awake. Awake is? Awake. Awake. If you are awake, that means you are? Not sleeping. Not sleeping. Or, yes, you were right when you say get up, but the most Closest meaning is not sleeping. Okay, shock. What do you mean by shock? Mm, surprise. Shock means surprise. Yes, you were surprised or astonished. It's the same. How about terrified? Scare. Terrified, yes. Fear or scared, frightened is the same. Okay. Scared, frightened. You can use those words. Okay. How about me? Question number 12. In line 25, the word eat refers to. 
Okay, let's take a look at this one. Here, can you read this one, Ni? My mom lets me share some of it to my with my new friend. It turned out to be a good day after all. Okay. Wait. Let me just highlight this one. Okay, can you read that, Ni? I was really hungry, so I eat my breakfast. My mom read the last until here. Let me share share some of it with my new friend. Okay, what do you think is the word it refers to? What do you think? It's a uh, puppy. Okay, this one. Take a look at this, at the sentence. It was, I was really hungry, so I ate my breakfast. What's that? What is it talking about? About the? Uh, breakfast. All right, about the breakfast. Look at that. So, the word it means, what does it referring? Breakfast. Okay, very good. It's the word breakfast. Okay, that's good. So for you to understand, you just have to read what is being talked on the previous or the sentence before the word it. Okay, so the Jacob was talking about breakfast. So the word it refers to breakfast. Okay, good job, me and IZ. Okay, let's see what's next. Did you understand the story so far? Me and IC, did you understand the story so far? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, very good. All right, let's go to unit five. Author's purpose questions. Author's purpose questions, meaning questions as what the author's goal was when writing a passage. Okay, this means that what is the purpose of the author why he is while he is writing the story or a passage there is always a purpose okay or what is the aim okay the author's purpose question starts like this why did the author write why okay because he wants to inform he wants to tell a story or he wants to share. Okay, what is the purpose? So the main meaning is what is the purpose of the story? Okay, let's take a look at the first example. Okay. Okay, we have here hint number one. For us to understand what is the purpose of the story, read the topic sentence. Okay. Read the topic sentence, this one. Okay. And what is a topic sentence? What do you think is a topic sentence? Topic sentence is the main idea of the story. Okay, so when you say 
topic sentence, it's the main idea of the sentence. So for you to understand the purpose of the story, first, you have to read the topic sentence or you have to understand what is the topic sentence or the main idea. Okay, let's read here. Reading the topic sentence will help you choose the correct answer to an author's purpose. As I've told you a while back, you have to understand it so you can answer or know the purpose of the question. The topic sentence is usually related to the purpose of the passage. So finding the topic sentence should be the first thing you do when answering this question of type, okay? This type of question, sorry. So usually a topic sentence is the, the first sentence, usually. Okay, let's take a look at the first example for us to understand further. Okay. Who wants to read? Me or Izzy? Who wants to volunteer? Who wants to read? No one wants to read? Oh, okay, I see. Oh, can you hear the drums? Can you feel the beat? We are very proud to announce that in one month, the new guys will be performing at our school spring concert. Over the last three months, we have been trying, uh, trying to find a group to play these shows, it was very difficult to choose uh, the best, best band for the job, but we did it. Our child's very old, the new guys will be holding a concert on Friday, April 20th in the school gymnasium. 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 The tickets will be um, fifteen dollars for student and uh twenty five dollars for everyone else. Families and friends are encouraged at uh, to attend. We expect to concert to sell out. So make sure you buy the your tickets soon as soon you can. Thanks you very much. Uh, we hope you are in all will have a great time. How about this one on, on the at the bottom? School announcement. School announcement. Okay. Did you understand the, the purpose of this passage? Would you like to write it one more time, me? Let's read it one more time to understand it uh, thoroughly. Read the passage? Yeah, you read the passage, please. Can you hear the drums? Can you feel the beat? We are very proud to announce that in one month, the new guys will be performing at our school spring concert. Over the last three months, we have been trying to find a group to play this show. It was very difficult to choose the best band for the job, but we did it. Our town's very own. The new guys will be holding on concerts on Friday, April 20, in the school gymnasium. The tickets will be $15 for students and $20 for everyone else. 20. Family, what? $25. $25 for everyone else, family and friends are encouraged to attend. We expect their consent to sell out, so make sure you buy your tickets as soon as you can. Thank you very much. We hope you all will have a great time. School announcement. All right, that's great. 
when you read, read um, not too fast, so you can understand what's, what you are reading, all right? It's okay to read slowly as long as you can understand the passage. Don't be in a hurry, okay? All right, have you understand the meaning of the passage or the purpose of the passage instead? Yeah. Okay, yeah. very good. So let's try to answer the question to see if you understand the meaning or the purpose of the passage. All right, question. This announcement's main purpose is to A, invite people to the school concert. B, tell people about the ticket prices for the school concert. Letter C, inform people that the school concert will be great. Letter D, explain which band is playing at the school concert. What do you think is the answer? What did we talk about here? The main idea of the story or the main uh, topic of the passage or a story. What do you, what do you think is the the main purpose, look at the hint number one. It says, read the topic sentence. What do you think is the topic sentence or the purpose of the author in writing this passage? What do you think? Did he want to invite people to attend the school concert or did he want to tell people about the tickets prices for the school event? Okay, let's see here. The correct answer would be letter A. Invite people to the school concert. Why? Why is the main purpose is to invite people to the school concert? Why? Take a look at this one. Oh, sorry. Take a look at this word. What did I told you a while back? Take a look at the first sentence or the main idea of the sen of the passage. Why? <clears throat> okay, please come back if we are disconnected, all right? So the correct answer would be letter A because the topic sentence says that the new guys, see? The new guys will 